I'm Beth from the Chambers Rescue Channel. Today I'll be cooking what some people call a crustless quiche, or a mini souffle, or an egg bake. We're in the middle of a heat wave here in New Jersey, but I know I can always count on my thermo well to keep my kitchen cool. I was inspired to create this recipe because of a tradition I have with my father of going to the farmer's market and there's a stand there that has such a delicious zucchini souffle and I've never been able to recreate it until I started trying it out in the thermo well. The ingredients are one egg, a third of a cup of milk or cream. I've made it with 1% milk and 2% milk, but today I'm using half and half. A quarter of a cup of shredded cheese, a quarter of a cup of whatever mix-ins you want, a dash of salt, a dash of hot sauce, and we're going to be baking it in a ramekin placed into the thermo baker. I'm going to start by giving my ramekin a spray of vegetable oil because the egg can get kind of sticky. For my mix-ins today, I have some chopped onion and chopped zucchini, but you can use any kind of mix-ins that you would normally put in an omelet or a quiche. And I'm just going to add my one egg. No matter what you add into it, the proportions are always going to be the same. One egg, a third of a cup of milk, a quarter of a cup of cheese, and about a quarter of a cup of mix-ins. And that will fit in your one ramekin and will serve one to two people. So I'm gonna mix up my egg with my zucchini and onions. Then I'm going to put it right in the ramekin. I'm gonna add my cheese. I already put a dash of salt into the zucchini and onions, so I don't need to add any more now. I have my third of a cup of half and half. And for a little kick, I like to put in a tiny bit of hot sauce. So I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a mix one more time. It is already ready to go into the thermo well. I'm gonna preheat for five minutes. My thermo well's been preheating for five minutes and now it's time to put my crustless quiche in. Today I'm using my thermo baker in the thermo well. So I'm going to cook this with the heat on for 12 minutes and the heat off for 30 minutes. I found that if I put more than one ramekin into my thermo baker, I need a little bit more time both with the heat on and the heat off. And that's something you'll have to experiment with based on the way yours is calibrated. Okay, it's in. So as I said, I'm going to cook it for 12 minutes with the heat on and then 30 minutes with the heat off. Here it is, fresh out of the thermo well, and it smells so good. You can find the recipe in the description below. I hope you enjoyed today's cooking lesson. Stay tuned for more on the Chambers Rescue Channel. Buon appetito!